Oh, there's so much to look forward to. I just can't wait to hold our little one. I am loving every minute of it. I feel so lucky to be pregnant and there's not actually that long to go now. So I'm very excited. I feel like I'm going into a whole new chapter of my life, but uh, yeah, just can't wait now. I was actually quite nervous to share the news. I think because it had felt like something that my partner Stuart and I were just, you know, keeping our little secret. Um, but it was so lovely actually sharing it with everybody. I got some really lovely messages and it was just nice to hear from other women going through the same thing. So yeah, looking back, I had nothing to worry about. It's not long now until my due date and Stuart and I, in classic kind of me fashion, I'm doing everything a little bit last minute. I've been so excited, but kind of not really realizing how quickly the due date is approaching. So we're now, basically like right we need to buy this we need to do this borrowing this from friends so we're sort of doing all of our research we're doing a lot of online zoom calls with the nhs maternity staff so um yeah we're kind of packing it all into this last trimester oh there's so much to look forward to um i just can't wait to hold our little one it feels like you know they've been in here for so long now i can't just wait to meet them and just give them a big snuggle and just simple things like going out for walks and feeding the ducks and um, just going over to my parents and, you know, just, I guess just like that family time really, um, just all the simple things. But uh, yeah, it feels like a whole new world out there. So I'm definitely gonna be asking other mums lots of tips and tricks. I think I need those, any advice going? I guess what I'm feeling a little bit nervous about is the fact that it's a completely new chapter and there is so much to learn. Um, I've been watching loads of videos, um, I've been reading a little bit, but I think until you're there with the baby, I think it's so hard to kind of absorb all the information. So I'm sure my lucky sisters are gonna get loads of calls at like two and four in the middle of the night. Like, guys, what do I do, help? So uh, yeah, I think my friends and family are gonna get a lot of calls from me. Cravings wise, um, the first three months, it was all about plain food. So loads of pizzas, jacket potatoes, toast, just like really boring food, um, but no weird ones as of yet. So prenatal exercise wise, I've mostly been doing daily walks. I've got a dog called Alfie, so he requires lots of walking. So I've done lots of walking. I've done a little bit of swimming as well. And I've tried to throw in um, some, just some gentle body weight stuff. But to be honest, it's more about my mental health. It makes me feel much more positive um, and a lot happier when I'm active. So that's been my main reason for kind of keeping that going throughout my pregnancy. I think Alfie is going to make a great big brother. He doesn't know about it yet. Um, people keep saying, oh, you know, dogs pick up on these things. Is he coming to snuggle next to the bump? Is he licking the bump? And I'm like, he is completely unaware. He's so tiny. He's trying to sort of keep walking over the bump. I, I think he's very unaware that it's there. So I think he's going to have a little surprise when, when the baby does arrive. <laughs> 